Welcome to my apartment. Today we're gonna do an FTP test uh, on my bike. So we'll be using Zwift uh, and be doing the, the shorter FTP test, which is a 45 minute. Uh, what the test tests for is my functional threshold power that I can hold on the bike. Kind of an estimate of uh, the max amount of watts or power that I can pedal uh, for an hour. Um, and this will allow me to get some good programming for future bike rides so that I'm riding at the right power to build it up, especially leading into the Ironman. We're 34 weeks out. I am 18 weeks out from the half Ironman, which is my big test of that. So um, going into that, I'm trying to build up my bike power and uh, keep these trainings accurate as I can. And I'll be testing this about every three to six weeks between the two tests that Zwift has. And then once it's able to get outside, which we're getting close, we're at April 2nd today. So we're getting close to being outside. And then after that, I'll be doing some uh, for distance that I can do a test as well. So now we're gonna go on to the tests and enjoy. Need the water. Sour watermelon. Throw a little more on top. <laughs> Just happy as a clam here. Starting off with a warm up. There's going to be a couple ramp ups of watts. Looks like I get up to 265 watts, which is slightly above. I think my last FTP test was 245. Um, I'm hoping just to increase it a little bit since I've been biking quite a bit. Um, but I'll be watching my heart rate my cadence, how fast uh, feet are moving on the bike, shooting for around 90 on the cadence. Um, and then I can also see distance and speed on my watch here too. Um, Cause I don't know anybody else who rides on Zwift, but it seems like the mileage is different on the course that you choose versus the mileage that you get from just the Garmin hooking up to my Wahoo kicker there. Um, but yeah, the watts is important for training and as I keep progressing, the workouts will change on Zwift to be slightly harder and cater to my level. Um, so I'm excited to see what we have with the test. That's 20 minutes long, um, but it'll be a first, it'll be a good 15 minute warm up here. Okay, we're 10 minutes in, riding currently at 240 watts, which is feels like about where I was at for my last FTP. Trying to hold the 90 uh, revolutions per minute RPM. Uh, so in my 80-20 triathlon book, they said the most optimal RPM is 90. In between that 80 to 85, which doesn't seem like very much less RPM. Um, can uh, fatigue you a little bit more. Um, this is using your 
muscle fibers as the most optimal and at 90 you also conserve a little more glycogen which is the energy that you get from eating carbs broken down into glucose which is stored in the muscles so I practice a lot at 90 RPM for pretty much everything in the warm up I hit a little bit faster just to kind of loosen up the legs feels good to get that revolution going um, in you know, 50 seconds here we're going to go up to 265 watts for two minutes six minute uh, recovery at 100 watts which will be really nice get that pedaling back in and then I got the 20 minute FTP test where I'm just going to go as hard as I can for 20 minutes holding that 90 RPM and uh, giving it my best so that I get the most accurate result for early on in the training until I can get outside and do it. So here we go. Uh, so based off my watch, which is hooked up Bluetooth to the Wahoo Kicker, uh, I have rode almost five miles in the 12 minutes. Um, it's sitting around 22 miles per hour. And as I keep going up into that FTP, I'm going to keep watching that just to kind of see and get a comparison for what those speeds feel like when I'm on the road uh, and testing out my mile per hour cadence on different terrains and getting a better idea for training, where I need to be, for what... Uh, rides that I'm doing, whether it be a 25 mile ride, 50 ride, 50 mile ride, or above 50, which in my 80-20 triathlon training book that I'm following, the program from will be measured in time. So I'll have to do a little math to convert this estimated distance, but it'll be good to kind of see what I'm shooting for uh, miles per hour and wattage wise dial it back based off the of heart rate. So we're sitting at 150 beats per minute right now. Going right into the last cool down before the test. We're one minute into the test. Sitting at about 150 beats per minute for the heart rate. Uh, keeping the 90 RPM. Right now my average watts for that last minute was just 275. Just hanging pretty good. I think we're going to stick there for a little while, and I'm estimating it'll drop a little bit. Heart rate, I'm assuming, is going to go up to probably 170. I'm just going to, I'm feeling good. Going to keep powering through this as hard as I can for this 20 minutes. And try to keep this arrow position focus on for performance and speed for hitting that road. Sitting between another way at 278 watts right now. Um, heart rate about 165 to 170. I'm pushing to the end, I'm feeling it. Um, my heart is probably close to zone four where that power training starts to hit in there. So I'm getting a good push based off heart rate there intensity and definitely feeling it. I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, probably at like a 9 right now. So, going to keep pushing to the end. Got a little bit of reserve left in the tank. I always keep telling myself, pain is temporary, especially on the bike. Very true. So, see you at the end. One minute. Almost at 100 RPM. 30 seconds. 181 with high rate. Right. 
because you get like ramped up and then second you hit a hill downhill or something you get rejuvenated quickly and the legs are burning I can tell I push it on them though because they're feeling heavy fried overall super happy with the test the last five minutes was a grind, pushing through the heavy legs and telling them that they need to keep going when they want to stop. Uh, it's the hardest parts because it matters most for your average across the whole thing. Um, Cause a lot of people will burn out at the end. So then your wattage goes down as an average. So I try to stay as consistent as possible. And at the end I was pushing even a little bit more than 90 RPM for the final couple minutes. Just dug deep and pushed on through. So I think that was probably one of my best FTP tests that I've done. Um, last time I did it was January 8th. So I've been mainly been trying to bike for power and apparently has yielded some good results going up uh, a good 20 watts or so. So I've been taking my Garmin data instead of focusing on Zwift because Zwift with the course has incline that takes away from some of the mileage so I've just been keeping it consistent with what I'll do on the road using my Garmin for all the collection so I did 16.8 miles in 43 minutes max speed uh, based off of how fast that uh, kicker was going based off Bluetooth uh, was 25.6 miles an hour my average was 22.4 which is a lot faster than I've been going at here. Uh, my average heart rate was 143. And you'll see my my average power was uh, 204 watts. So obviously some of that's going to count in there for that um, warm up and whatnot. My max was 389. And then my average cadence was 91 RPM. So I'm happy with that um, overall very successful test and now for the next one probably will be able to do it outside but I'll probably still compare with some of the FTP tests off Zwift just because I like their tests and it's simple and easy to use. Um, so thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.